She called me a dick. I said, fuck you. I guess we didn't recognize the double entendre. Seems we didn't realize the irony. That's how we got in this situation in the first place. See, I believe the devil's first deception was a double entendre. The story of Eden's fruit wasn't about a lie. It was about a misunderstanding, a gluttonous irony. Poets have come to know too well how sane can you stay when you see what others don't. How far can a relationship come when you think of going before she comes, when you see the closing credits before the first orgasm? Damn it. We've been biting fruit, picking this moment to lie under this tree of knowledge we call a headboard, knowing our optimistic Eden will end shortly thereafter. Leaving us ashamed of our naked sense of understanding, laboring over the goodbye we will birth, all for disobedience to our better judgment. Don't go, daddy. Makes so much more sense now. I thought it was my cries he repeatedly ignored, a deadbeat father's fallacy, but now I know it was a double entendre. Pops, before you left, why didn't you teach me that don't go, daddy, is foreshadowing of a door closing that leaves doe eyes and trembling bottom lip with sheep pulled up to her neck, wondering if I'll call her after. Wondering if it's her cries I repeatedly ignore. I guess me and my pops just two sides of the same phrase, like go in, poet means leave it all on stage, let the roar of the applause affirm your good deed, but go in, poet, means leave your inhibitions beside your better judgment outside the front door of her apartment, let the roar of moans and the clapping of flesh affirm you are good at this deed, Lord, save me from this knowledge of good and evil, got me talking this no weapon formed against me shall prosper, but, but doesn't it depend on what I consider a weapon? Hate or love, help or hindrance, criticism or concern. The nuance is a slithering sensibility that allows me to overcome or escape. This double entendre is the basis for my fear of commitment. But do I fear the dedication to another or the dedicated staff of an insane asylum? Is it the institution of marriage I'm afraid I can't get straight? Or the straight jacket of an institution I'm afraid will be my destination if I keep loving over and over again the same way? I mean, is wondering if we fit a question of our compatibility or the size of my... I said, you calling me a dick? She said, don't hold it against me. Isn't that how we got here in the first place? She said I was doing it wrong. I know I'm not supposed to hold it against you. She didn't laugh. I would have had my pride shattered if she had laughed at it. Neither one of us knew what it was. Maybe that's why we couldn't figure out how to make it work. I thought I made it work too well, too often, too often. We see things for what they are where we shouldn't. Pick the right moments to be wrong. Pick the wrong person to be right. Lay our burdens on beds instead of altars trying to resuscitate our sense of self-worth in the dead of the night. But unfortunately, I'm too fucking aware for my own fucking good. Yeah.